South Korea is taking a major step forward in national defense with the development of a land-based close-in weapon system, or CIWS-2. The project, managed by the Defense Acquisition Program Administration, aims to counter a wide range of threats from North Korea, including artillery, drones, ballistic missiles, and cruise missiles. This new system builds on the naval CIWS-2, which features a 30mm Jung-8 Gatling gun and advanced ASA radar. However, the land-based version has been adapted with a rotating radar to focus on monitoring northern threats while keeping costs lower. The need for such a system became clear after several North Korean drone incursions, including a 2022 incident where drones breached Seoul's airspace. Current systems like the K-30 Baiho have struggled to detect and track smaller, low-flying targets. The CIWS-2 is designed to handle a wide range of challenges, from kamikaze drones and swarms to close-range ballistic missiles and long-range artillery. Equipped with cutting-edge technology, including electro-optical tracking and ahead ammunition, the system ensures maximum efficiency by releasing shrapnel to neutralize multiple threats at once. South Korea's initiative draws inspiration from international systems like the U.S. CRAM, which has been successfully used in conflict zones to protect bases from rockets and mortars. However, unlike imported systems, the CIWS-2 is a fully domestic solution, designed to address unique regional threats. The project comes with a $627 million budget and is set to achieve initial capability by 2027, with full deployment continuing until 2036. While initial installations will focus on defending Seoul and other key areas, this development sends a clear message. South Korea is ready to meet any challenge head-on. As North Korea's military capabilities grow, systems like the CIWS-2 are not just weapons, they're vital shields for the country's future. Stay tuned for more updates on this groundbreaking defense technology.